Dr. Baliga here. This podcast is one in a series of 10 podcasts on medical ethics and professionalism from an outstanding chapter by Dr. C. Ronald McKenzie, who is Professor of Clinical Medicine and Medical Ethics at the Wheel Medical Center of Cornell University. He was recently named the C. Ronald McKenzie Chair of Ethics and Medicine at the Hospital for Special Surgery, where he practices rheumatology, general internal medicine, and has provided perioperative care at this institution and at the New York Presbyterian Hospital for the last 30 years. By the end of the, these 10 podcasts, the listener should have a, a solid foundation in ethics and medical professionalism and reading the chapter in the book which is available at www.mastermedfacts.com should set the candidate up for excellent performance in the internal medicine board review exam. Multiple choice question. The American Medical Association Code of Ethics was first based on which of the following documents? A. The Hippocratic Oath B. Benjamin's Rushes on, on the Virtues and Vices of Physicians C. Percival's Medical Ethics D. The Code of Ethics at the Royal Co- College of Physicians and E. The Code was developed de novo by the founding members of the American Medical Association. And the answer is 3C. Although influenced by the writings of Benjamin Rush, a preeminent Philadelphia physician and the signer of the Declaration of Independence, the most substantial treatise pertaining to the professional aspects of medical practice, the founding members looked to Percival's work for guidance. Percival, or Thomas Percival, 1740 to 1804, is an Englishman who was a physician, ethicist. Percival coined the term medical ethics, introducing it in his examination of physician conduct vis-a-vis hospitals, charities, and with respect to professional etiquette. Moving forward almost 50 years, the role that codes have played in the professional discourse of medicine are underscored by noting that at the inaugural meeting of the AMA, the first agenda item was the creation of a code of ethics for the new organization. Connecting their deliberations to this earlier work, the founding members of the American Medical Association framed their code largely in the words of Percival. This decision stamped the effort with Percival's conception of medical ethics a professional and gentlemanly, gentlemanly code. It was not until later the concept of professional competence was added, largely a a consequence of the expanded view of medical ethics of Richard Cabot in Boston. Nonetheless, as a result of a deeply rooted tradition, codes of ethics in the profession of medicine are touchstone statements defining the character and directing the habits of ideal medical practitioner. The American Medical Association Code of Ethics was in the main formulated according to the precepts developed in Percival's book. Indeed, the Scotsman John Gregory, 1724 to 1773, and the Englishman Thomas Percival, 1740 to 1804, both physician ethicists, were the first to uh, apply the term patient rather than the term sick Indeed, in addition to this orientation, John Gregory's principles also emphasize scientific and clinical competence, caution against physician self-interest, and introduced the notion of medicine as a public trust as opposed to a merchant guild, which is what it was in his time. 
Building on these views, Thomas Percival introduced the term medical ethics, employing it in his examination of physician conduct in hospitals and charities, and with respect to professional etiquette. More recently, and further underscoring the central role that codes have played in the professional discourse of medicine, it's noteworthy that a code of ethics was the first item on the agenda of the first meeting of the American Medical Association in 1847. Thus, as a consequence of this ingrained tradition, code of ethics in the profession of medicine are regarded as touchstone statements that direct the behavior and define the character of the ideal medical practitioner. This podcast is one of a series of 10 podcasts derived from an outstanding chapter on ethics and professionalism by Dr. C. Ronald McKenzie, professor at Cornell University and rheumatologist. This chapter should provide a solid foundation to the reader interested in medical ethics and professionalism.